Terra Luna Classic holders, what a painful time in the markets right now. But you know something, LUNC fam? There's one thing that I know a lot of people, crypto investors, are missing, and that's why I'm making this video. I know their predictions for LUNC, right, for Terra Luna Classic are really high, and we all wanted to thrive. And we know what just happened in the last 24, 48, 72 hours in the market had nothing to do with LUNC. And that for that, the only thing that we got as a hit is what you're seeing right now on the screen, the price. For the first time in a long time, we got 3012, right? I mean, very close to that 409, but immediately whales and people buying back, believing, and we are back to 3018, very close. What is that one thing, guys? Very easy. Failure of injection of cash, lack of liquidity. Why, Oscar? Because now, here's the premise, it's going to take longer for LUNC to reach the goal of much higher prices. I'm not here to tell you a price prediction. You know already how I look at uh, how my angle is for Terra Luna Classic. No one dollar, no one cent. First, three zeros, one, let's get back to it. Three zeros, five, let's get back to that. And then two zeros, one, and so on. Right now, the bear market, right now with everything that's happening, it's not time to make bullish predictions for clicks. No, it's time for us to build. It's time for us to add. It's time for us to come together and continue a group conversation security first. Because what we saw with FTX, guys, obviously a collapse. U.S. withdrawals pause halted. International withdrawals halted. Just saw on Twitter that the F2X stadium, they're taking already the letters from the stadium. So nobody wanted that, but it occurred. LUNC obviously survived, but what is next? Missing the lack of liquidity is going to put a lot of cryptos, including LUNC, on a delayed for the upcoming bull run. Why? Because the institutions and some retail investors just lost everything in 2022, and it's going to take longer to collect the trust back. Essential key component in crypto. Go ahead and smash the like button, everybody. Consider subscribing to the channel and turn on those notification bells. Super happy to have you back, guys. The LUNC Army that we've been with us, you know, we've been with this community for a long time and we understand the pain. Like, I can easily tell you that 2022, it's no longer going to be remem remembered just Terra Luna no longer this what happened with ftx it could be even bigger than terra luna money wise money wise so i mean even bigger than emron i was looking at some of the articles and that's what people are saying because one is a project blockchain right had nothing to do as an exchange but the other one has to do with an exchange has to do with a lot of institutions and well it's a mess and fbf had he resigned and the whole thing Obviously, Doc One doesn't look that bad anymore. I'm just joking, of course, right? But wow, what a year, man. What a year. What I see here for us is obviously utility, more dApps, validators, uh, a, a staking percentage, burning, and Binance coming in with a new burn on December 2nd. It's going to help, right? It's just going to help. I'm going to go ahead and go back to here where the LUNC is still asking we're asking for robin hood we're asking for coinbase now we see that coinbase sustained the, the bear market same as crypto.com same as binance right but coinbase is of course the one that we want you do not see lunc trending anymore right now for obvious reasons because of what's happened with alameda and ftx right now we are you remember guys a couple weeks ago i believe it was way above one trillion now we're back down because of ftx and this is what it looks like. Now, not that long ago, we had 26 because LUNC DAO and all nodes burned a lot of millions of LUNC. We were able to, boom, go all the way up. These are validators from the community. These are validators for LUNC. And you can see it right here, how still Binance holds 50% and the rest go on. Max Global, everybody, link in the description. If you want to sign up with them, 9,100 in deposit bonus, you might want to take it. Okay. The reason why I believe that right now it's okay. I mean, LUNC held well. 
even though 3012 it was pretty low we were rejecting that obviously remember the cpi data release it was amazing if ftx would have you know would have crashed we would have been probably in bitcoin at 20 20 something thousand 22 thousand but that wasn't the case and lunc for sure way higher right about you know the 3025 or something like that but that's not the case there's gonna be a lack of a lot of institutional money in the markets so what does that mean that if people are not buying because they're scared that their money is just gonna go gone then how are we gonna justify the one cent the one dollar the much higher prices in all your specific outcome that you want in this case lunc remember the reason why it pumped is because people buy, right? And whales have left the boat on LUNC. What we are doing right now is adding as much utility value, reducing the tokens and bringing people together so people believe once again in LUNC as the blockchain and buy once again, right? Which makes sense. Organically speaking, that is an amazing way of going about not just asking whales to buy and then exploding the price that is not because it's going to be a pump and a dump plus the bear market is not going to help anyone get sustainable profits so the point of this video is for you to understand what one thing the, uh, people are missing liquidity is going to be gone for a while much longer if i was thinking 2022 is cooked yes it is before now after the ftx collapse I'm pretty aware that if I don't see the prices go all the way up for LUNC, for Crocon, for Bitcoin, for Ethereum, up until Q2 2023, I shouldn't be surprised. Yes, you heard it. There's nothing that guarantees now a bull market in 2022, let alone 2023, probably 2024. But 2022 so far with this, you have to understand so much money was lost and obviously people don't want to do anything to do with crypto at this time. Is that FUD? Well, people are scared and fearful. They just lost a lot of money. And us that we're buying LUNC, well, it's a different story because this already crashed the project. Now we're trying to revive it. I do not see any FTX classic coming out, but I'm sure you're going to see some meme coins. So stay away from anything SBF Inu or FTX Inu. Please don't pay attention to that. So now my price predictions for everything change because with this, all the institutional money that lost, all the people that couldn't withdraw on time, all the people, the institutional governments and cities and companies that put it, their trust in FTX and so many of the companies behind them sponsorship this Tom Brady and all those. It hurts the industry. The industry is hurting. I'm not saying that other cryptos cannot pump or LUNC cannot have a pump once or twice. What I'm saying is that it's going to take longer just because of what happened. We were getting out of the F of the LU uh, Terra Luna uh, collapse and people were getting back on. People were saying, like, you know what? I think we're we're getting better. CPI data coming very good or so, but FTX happened and we're back to step ground zero. That's my take. What do you think? Be safe, beware. Let's go, guys. Message for all of you, Terra Luna Classic holders. Like, subscribe. Peace.